Merci. <rire> I can't stop thinking about you. Hello and welcome back to Lore Effect Gaming Plays Fable Anniversary. I'm your host, Lore Fan. In this Fable Anniversary Evil Path Part 8 video, we're doing a hob killing contest and the trader escort story quest. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget to notification bell so be updated and much more. Now, in the last video, we helped out some instant bandits raid a farm. And that was really fun. Now, before I actually go and start the hob killing contest, we'll go ahead and build our character. So let's go ahead and do that now. It is time to go ahead and build my character. I'll be doing that quite a bit in this video due to the fact I am doing two quests. So I'm going to go ahead and get a spell right now since I cannot get physical shield maxed out since I am playing evil. I'm doing slow time, another OP spell. So slow time does it slows everything to a crawl around you so you can dodge faster, kills more foes a lot more faster while they're slowed down. It is a really OP spell. In fact, if you're playing on heroic, I definitely advise that and physical shield in order for you to get through that difficulty. Now I am going to do the uh, rest. I'm just setting everything up. There you go. Somehow it won't let me set up my assassin bar too along with slow time. But oh well, we're going to go ahead and do uh, physique level 3. Again, physique's going to be used for uh, in case folks get close to me and um, they're too close for uh, using a bow. Now, Guile, that's for stealing and such. I'm maxing that out too, along with physique. Yeah, I'm maxing that uh, skill out. Speed, I'm maxing out too. And it's rate of fire and range weapons and how fast I am. Accuracy is how well I am real accurate with certain weapons, which is good. So uh, that part, I'll max out big time. Health, I'm only doing the two, but down the line, I'll max that out in case I did everything else. Toughness, I'll uh, max out big time uh, too. So uh, this way, if I feel to do some bosses, yeah, I'll uh, definitely do the naked runs for extra experience points. We'll uh, put that health at two, like I said before. If I have enough, I will uh, definitely uh, try to slow time, but I don't think so. And let's see if I can do this. Okay, we got speed. Let's do accuracy and voila. We're all set and good to go. So our skills are really up there. And I feel like this is going to be one devastating character. And we got toughness to level 2. So we're going to do very good. This is also going to be useful for uh, fist fighting too. And we are uh, basically done with our character almost. I'm just checking things one more time to confirm it. So the quest I am doing is called Hob Killing Contest. Now I would advise doing this one before the uh, Trade Post 1. And then after that, then do the Hob Cave 1. Those are three in order I suggest everybody to do. The cave one doing for another video in the future. And yeah, from uh, this point on, I will uh, visit the school once or twice, maybe twice every video. So I'll get that book of the month club thing out of the way. So we're selecting a hob killing contest. No bosses at all. Until I feel like most of my skills are really maxed out to a point, then I will start doing bosses like crazy. Bosses are very good if you want that fast experience points, but you must do the condition. And you must be really good at it. If not, avoid the bosses for now. Okay, we got the hob one. So what we're going to do is uh, go to the farm, the archer farm that in the last video I raided with some good old friends. I mean bandits. So from lookout point, after you exit the uh, guild and people are cowering in fear of you, we're going to the forest. Now in the uh, forest, uh, if you uh, didn't see in the last video or didn't remember, well, there's wasps and bandits. If you're playing an evil playthrough, there's also people that need help. Well, you take them out. Take out everyone. Now, if you're playing a good playthrough, this will be uh, great for you. Because you gain this good points. You can farm here for hours on end. And not only max out your uh, good guy character, but you can also get some skill points. Now, evil, you gotta do a little bit of work by uh, making sure you maintain that evil. I'm gonna try to take out this fool, then I'll uh, be back after everything is done.
Here's how the hob killing contest quest goes. Now you and Whisper will be in a contest of killing the most hobs in the area. My advice is use any cheap methods like slow time, etc. to get the edge on Whisper. Kill Steel is fine against Whisper too, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Ah, there you are. About time you showed up. I was going to start without you. I was just telling your friend here, the whole orchard's overrun with hobs. I could get rid of them myself, but it might be more fun like this. Whoever kills the most hobs gets the trophy, right? I don't care how you do it, just stick them before they drink all my scrumpy. The little sods cracked open my crate down by the river at the far end of the path. Guess that's where we should go. Race you there. My stock will be ruined! You really taught the Hobbs a lesson. They'll think twice before they try stealing from me again. 
Not bad. Don't think it'll be easy next time, though. I suppose the trophy is yours, then. For now. I've had enough of this. Maybe the guild has something more interesting for me. We'd better make a move now and check on the damage. Because I use a combination of slow time, my flourish, and when Whisper is about to get the killing blow, I took it away from her. I easily beat her big time. And my combo meter is at 19, looks like. I was really up there. I kind of wish that door was nearby, but still, that is how you definitely complete the quest and how things went your way during that said quest. I'm going to just go ahead and do a uh, little bit of exploring, see if I could grab anything else. I'm going to avoid uh, fishing ponds because just in case, I mean just in case it's the uh, sick child quest. I kind of want to save that for itself for an entire video so uh, this way people can follow along with it. I accidentally uh, did uh, one or two steps which is one starting out the quest, finding out the uh, mother who needs uh, a cure for her sick child and the uh, two uh, mushroom guys. Big ol' whoops on my part. Let's see what's inside this treasure chest. Please be a silver key. I doubt it. Treasure clue. Okay, your guild massacre mentioned that. I will attempt again to uh, find all uh, the treasure clues. If I uh, do, then I'll uh, show everybody where the treasure's at. And show everybody how to uh, get it. It won't be a separate video like uh, the Lost Child one. I'm going to do our say. Oh, I mean the Sick Child. My mistake. Yeah, it will be, uh, be just uh, throughout the series. So let's uh, go ahead and get back to the uh, kill hall and let me uh, make sure uh, there is nothing else here all right and let me hit the G button down to my free teleport and we're going to the heroes uh, guild and voila we are about to go now before I do uh, grab the uh, trader escort main quest I am once again going to head and build my character up I believe I got some nice uh, points out of that oh yes I uh, did so let's see here Oops, on the wrong button. Let me uh, check any equipment I did find. And I'm just checking everything else. Okay, health potion. I'm going to start assigning that will one to uh, number two. Reason being is from this point on, since I have enough money using a trick, I'm going to start uh, buying some will potions and, of course, uh, health potions like crazy, mainly the will potions. So this way I use uh, slow time, drink a potion, then go on. And I'm trying to look for how to... Uh, you know get my expressions there i will probably gonna do it off screen but for now I'm just checking everything else out before I uh, level up I'm checking the hairs and such too and I gotta remember to uh, put some uh, trophies in my house too that I bought from the last video let's uh, go ahead and see what I could definitely do uh, where's it at slow time yeah we're gonna get that to uh, level 2 we got enough points for that and let's hit the button and voila we got definitely enough for that. Next one's 18.8k. Uh, so that's like, oh boy. Let's uh, check this out. Physique. Yeah, since I got enough. Uh, let's see here. I'm just trying to check if I got slow time level 3. Nope. It's going to cost a lot for me to uh, do. Either cast more magic or just get general experience points. So let's buy physique level 3. That used up a good chunk of my physical uh, experience points, which is good. Okay, we can't do that. I have to back out. Yeah, you have to back out every time to uh, commit to a change. Uh, I could, could put more points in the toughness, but for now, now I'm going to focus on, let's see here, Guile. We'll get that up there. We're going to get a new uh, skill for that. Okay, we're going to leave that alone. Uh, I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and grab the main quest. And let's see here. Where is it? Well, I'm going to do it. Make sure it's right. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Big ol' whoops. Yeah, I have my F key and my tab key confused. I'm just checking everything else, too. Everything looks good. Almost halfway with physique. That is nice. Almost halfway with guile. That's good. Speed and accuracy, I need to step it up. And I'm still evil. I'm glad about that. And let's see. Where's my slow time at level 2? I will need to, how to uh, figure out how to hotbar that much better. So as all uh, finished for now, let's go ahead and grab the sad quest. Uh, Trader Escort, we cannot do a uh, hob cave since my uh, renown is too low. So we're only stuck with that. We're doing that anyways. I'm just doing the normal way. No bosses at all. 
since it's a very long quest and it's really hard to uh, get some of those bows, especially the no-hit one, just trust me. Now, we're going to go to a new place. I believe it's a new location. I'll show everybody where it's at. I'm just double-checking everything, make sure everything's set up. Okay, I'm probably going to need Renown number uh, 3 in order to get the next quest. Which I believe I'll definitely get after this one is uh, done and over with. Go past the mushroom guys, go this path, and I'm going to go ahead and do some combat. Afterwards, I'll talk about what's going on next. We're going to go ahead and do more traveling. So when I do get to the next area, I'm going to definitely start focusing on killing guards and, of course, merchants. So this way I am more evil. So I'm going to do that now. That was really fun. I really killed these uh, fools. My multiplier is at 13. Yeah, I could have stepped it up, but still, that's all right. And I just killed another merchant. So I'm going to go ahead and zone into the next area. Now, there will be uh, bandits there asking you for a toll. Good or evil, here's the uh, deal. If you decide to clear out the area of bandits, uh, that's it. They won't come back. So just have some fun. Me, I'm going to kill bandits and also uh, trade people too. 
And it's really fun doing that. So when a bandit asks me for a toll, I'll definitely give my answer. And it's coming up right now. Hey, I'm afraid this path is private. It'll cost you to get through. Or we can always use your head as an ornament. Either way suits us. So, unless you're wanting to end up dead, you'll hand over your shinies. Is that the gold? Here, give it here. So, it's your basic money or your life scheme? Well, guess what? It's gonna be this guy's life I'm gonna take. Oh, <laughs> wow! Nice headshot. I'm gonna kill the rest of them. Now, the bandit camp is closed for business. I just taken out their leader. And I have looting rights, so guess what? It's time to loot up. Let me uh, grab that. Now, augments, I'm going to be honest, I used them before. They're all right. I might just try this uh, playthrough without an augment until I uh, research on it better. But still, if you want to use an augment, that's fine. Let's grab this one, too. And 500 pieces of gold. That is well worth it. Now, if you didn't use any money exploits and such, well, uh, guess what? It's a good place to actually get some gold. And if you're a good guy or a good gal playing this uh, game, you'll be able to clear the camp. Now, if you're someone who likes to play evil, you don't have to make that up by uh, killing uh, more uh, inside uh, guards and, of course, uh, merchants that they're escorting. Uh, but you're a wizard hero. Yeah, I am, but screw that noise. So I'm just uh, make sure everything is fine and my health is all right. And I just accidentally ate that uh, blueberry pie I got when I was a kid. And yeah, do watch out for that and use a bow and arrow in the future to take care of that or a crossbow, depending on uh, what you have equipped at this uh, time. So uh, what I'm going to do is there's going to be a, a door coming up. I'm going to let it talk and, and give us the hint what we need to do. And that is coming up now. This is the deal. You perform an act of great evil in my sight, and I'll pop open. That door is very simple. I believe you have to become maximum evil in order to pull that off, so don't be good at all. So it is time for me to kill some innocents. I will uh, do, definitely do that door in a future uh, video. Stop all this now!
I need to see your combat multiplier get higher before I swing a jar. Here's the deal about that door. You're going to need 14 on the combo meter or above. If you get that, rush to the door and then talk to the door. It'll open for you. Unfortunately, I cannot get that at all. So I'm going to go ahead and get the cutscene going and start the trader escorting quest. Thank Avo you're here. I thought we were going to die in this hellish place. We have to get to the Barrow Fields at the other end of Darkwood. You lead the way. We'll be right behind you. The sooner we put this forest behind us, the better. There are unnatural things out there. Now, this one isn't bad at all. You have to use your commands to uh, command these traders to either A, stop while you do combat, or B, follow. For some reason, I don't have the commands at all. So, guess what I'm just going to go ahead and do. Just use my bow and arrow for the most part for range attacks. And if it's too close, slow time, then go into melee mode. So coming up will be a good versus evil choice. You know what choice I am doing. Ah, help! Something bit me and left me for dead. Please, let me come with you. We can't let him follow. He's infected. He'll be eating our guts before we know it. We have sworn a traitor oath. We have to help him. This isn't a good idea. Not a good idea at all. I can pay well, and there won't be any trouble. I just have to hope someone else will help me, or I won't last the day. Right behind you! I decided to leave that leper behind, and that leper's going to die anyway. Screw that, and I got 40 evil points, so... There'll be another cutscene in a new foe and some combat. I'll be back after all that is done. I have a bad feeling about this. We never should have come this way. have kids I'll make sure they get nice safe keep your stories to I need to spend some you. quality so here's the deal we're facing werewolves in fable there are uh, different names but still best way to feed them like I did was is go ahead and slow time and go crazy on them now if you're a good uh, player I'll probably say it's physique shield slow time and then go ham on the foe now uh, there's these uh, exploding mushrooms or exploding poisonous mushrooms do not escort the NPCs until every single mushroom is gone. Yeah, I'm uh, being really careful on this one, everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and one-shot them. All you need to do is just draw back your bow all the way and shoot. Very easy to do. They're not that hard to uh, get rid of. I think that's why that leper uh, died. He didn't have someone to uh, take care of the mushrooms, and we had to leave him behind. That was his fault. Screw him. So let's see what's in this treasure chest. Inside is a jet. I don't know what that is, but I'll hold on to it. Yeah, something I don't know. I'll uh, hold on to it until I figure out a use. If not, I'll get rid of it. Then again, I'm making so much money using this exploit. I really don't need money at some point. All right, everything's all clear. So what I'm going to do is go into the next area. There'll be more bandits to kill. It's like your standard bandits you've been facing. Not too hard. If you want to, you could tell the uh, escort to hold until you clear them out, then give them to follow you again. The trader camp is through the next gate. We can get healed there. <laughs> Hero, your will energy is low. What's that? This takes me right back. That was some real fun there, and yes, I did abuse a, time, a slow time. I almost said time stop, but still. Slow time is just really OP, and it's very nice. Even if I don't have the souped up equipment, I would definitely abuse this like crazy. So let's all go ahead and get our merchants to follow me. 
I'm going to attempt to uh, start the battle out by using my bow. If not, I'll use the uh, melee slash slow time combination. So here we go on war, clearing this area out. Yes, this quest is long, henceforth the video is a little bit longer than my normal Fable ones. But still, you're at a camp, you're safe. Go ahead and uh, restock your supplies, which is very good. Steel Axe, that's not bad. I think that's the same thing I got. Now, uh, this uh, person I'm trying to talk to is a normal shopkeeper. And he sells his weapons. I'm just trying to see what weapons he does have. If I want any, let's check down the list. Uh, nope. Master Great Axe, if I was a two-handed weapon user, I would. Ebony Crossbow, Flag Augmentation. Uh, that's all right, but still, good try on the uh, weapon shop. I'm going to go ahead and check out the potion shop next before I uh, go gambling. Okay, let's see what Bran has. All right, got some more health potions. We're going to need those. We're going to definitely need those. And that's your standard, uh, you know, gifts, too, you could get. Jet, emeralds, you name it. Red meat. And it says, you're not a bad person. I believe I already own that book. Now, uh, this guy is the blackjack table. So, uh, let me explain. You need to get to uh, 21. If you go over, you lose. If your opponent has more than you, you lose. Now, if they bust, you win. If you have 21 or more than them, as long as you don't go over you win. So that was a push that happened. So uh, nobody got anything. Let's uh, go ahead and double my bet. And see here, I'm going to continue. Let's keep on going. And I just won. All right, blackjack's not that hard. So I got my earnings back. I'm going to just get out of here. Now, if you're uh, dire need of money, then uh, save uh, before entering the zone. Then, of course, uh, go ahead and uh, gamble. If you lose, load your save up. Just save every time. Just zone in and out. So this way you'll uh, save. Now this is the uh, shop. I'm going to go ahead and check that out. Ooh, a satin shirt. Oh, this is going to be very nice. Dark villager uh, gear. Dark uh, plate. I'm not using any uh, plate stuff because that's too heavy for my character. I'm going assassin gear or uh, dark leather. Since I'm playing an evil playthrough. Let's uh, go ahead and switch that out with assassin. And there you go. We're uh, more scary, so that's good. So we'll go ahead and uh, go to the next area and kill off some more bandits because they definitely deserve to die. This is a nightmare. One long, painful nightmare. Yes, that slow time ability is really nice. They close in on me. I pop that baby and chop them into pieces. 
And let's go ahead and loot this area up since I did use some uh, bow and arrow tactics. In other words, I was an assassin. So let's go kill some more bandits. I just knew it! Coming! A fine bunch of traders we are. We should be selling things, not risking our lives. I've got a feeling everything will be all right. I don't think I could take much more of this. Now, here's a way to defeat this uh, boss that is uh, coming up. So uh, let me uh, go ahead and explain this. So the boss is big. I advise definitely against using your bow and arrow because he loves to close in. So slow time, go in there and dodge and make sure you hit him if and only if he's not in front of you or facing you. So try to get to the side or behind him and just hammer it away. Just repeat the slow time process, hit him, and you'll defeat this boss very easy. So I'm going to go ahead and fight the boss now. What in... Hero, your will energy is low. What's that? That was very easy and really fun. Lost a little bit of health since I was trying to use the uh, bow and arrow trick that didn't work. But oh well, let's go to Barrel Fields. So we have finally made it and our two traders are running away like crazy. And we just got ourselves the uh, teleport point for Barrel Fields. So that is very good. So as soon as we get to the uh, flashing quest icon on the old map, the uh, trader escort quest is now complete and we get our just rewards. So... Let's uh, go ahead and cash that in right about here. I knew you could... Ah, there you are. We've been expecting you. You're now renowned enough to use the scary laugh expression. You have reached familiar status. All right, we just got renowned up, so most likely we get the Hob Cave quest, which is very good. So before I do end the video, I want to build up my character one more time, so that's three times. I'm gonna use the uh, timestamps, so this way, if you were just coming here for uh, how I'm building my character up for uh, Fable Anniversary, you can check out the skills I am dumping points into. Now, if you all want me to uh, put that in the description, I will uh, do that in the future, also in the sticky comment section. So let me see what, how many points I have. That's about, let's see, that's a lot of experience points. Can't do slow time. We could do physique though. We could come much more stronger. Oh wow, 24K for the next level. Wow. Let's see what else I could do. Oh, that looks good, toughness. We'll get that up there. Let's see what else I could definitely uh, do next. Speed or accuracy? Let's go for speed. We're going to become like a beast in the battlefield now. And that is it for building our character up. Here's a recap for this uh, video, everyone. First thing I uh, did was just built my character up nicely. After that, started the hob killing contest. 
with slow time and other cheap tricks beat Whisper in said quest. Did some more character building after that. Did the trailer escort quest. Saw a leper on the way. Told him, no, get out of here. We're not going to help you. After all that, escort the two fools to safety while killing a huge creature and, and broke even at the blackjack table. After all that was said and done, built my character up one more time. Well, everyone, this is it for my Fable Anniversary Evil Path Part 8 Hob Killing Contest and Trailer Escort Quest. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and do some serious damage in video games.